In this video, I am going to solve two problems on equilibrium of two dimensional rigid bodies. Equilibrium problems invariably boil down to determining support reactions. I have specifically chosen these two problems just to provide you exposure to different kind of supports used along with rigid bodies. In the first problem, we have collars sliding on fixed rods and in the second one, we have fixed support of a beam. So hopefully after watching this video, you will be more confident in dealing with these kind of supports and the associated support reactions. So let's move on to solving the first problem. In this problem, we have a bar AD which is attached to the collars at C and A. These collars can move freely along the rods here and the point B of the bar is connected to a cord BE which is parallel to the rods and the bar AD is subjected to a force of 18 newtons at point D and it is in equilibrium. We have to find the tension in this cord BE and the support reactions at A and C. So the first step in solving such a problem is to draw a free body diagram. So here is the free body diagram. This is a collar which can freely slide along this rod. Therefore the reaction at point A acting on the rigid body AD would be in a direction perpendicular to the direction of the rod. So we have arbitrarily chosen the direction of this force A pointing in this direction. It could have been this also. Now just in case the value of A turns out to be negative, then, then we would know that in reality the, the reaction force is in the opposite direction, in this direction. So this reaction force would make an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical because the rod makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. So this is normal to the direction of the rod. Similarly, the reaction at C is also normal to the direction of the rod and therefore it makes an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical. At B is the, is the tension force in the cord and it is pointing along the direction of the cord and it makes an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical. So we have just three unknowns in this free body diagram, A, T and C. We do not know their magnitudes, but we know their directions. So we have three equilibrium equations applicable for two dimensional bodies and we have three unknowns. So the problem is solvable. So now we are ready to write the equilibrium equation sigma fx equal to 0. The component of A along x axis would be A sine 60 degrees and will be negative because it is pointing in minus x direction. The component of T along x direction is T sine 30 degrees and it will be positive because it is pointing in plus x direction. Likewise, the component of C along x axis would be C sine 60 degrees pointing in minus x direction and therefore we have a negative sign. And all these terms put together would be equated to 0. Simplifying this would give us T upon 2 equal to A plus C times square root of 3 upon 2. And we further simplify it to T equal to A plus C times square root of 3. Let's call this equation number 1. Now we write the second equilibrium equation which is sigma fi equal to 0 and that will give us a cosine 60 which is the y component of the reaction force at a, t cosine 30 is the y component of the cable tension and c cosine 60 is the y component of the reaction force at c 
this force is acting in minus y direction therefore it will be minus a t and when we take it to the right hand side of the equal sign it will become positive. So, this gets simplified to this equation and now we put in the value of a plus c from equation number 1 and a plus c is t upon square root of 3. So, in place of a plus c we write t upon square root of 3 plus t times square root of 3 equal to 160 and therefore, t will work out to 40 root 3 equal to 69.3 newtons and now we can use the moment equation about a so as to eliminate a and get the value of c. Now, force A which passes through A will have no moment about A. Similarly, the horizontal components of T and C will pass through A and therefore, will not contribute to moment about A. Only the vertical components of T and C would have moments about A. The vertical component which is T cosine 30 will have a moment arm of 0.2 and it will produce a counterclockwise moment therefore it will be positive likewise c cosine 60 is the vertical component of this force and it will produce a counterclockwise moment about a and the moment arm for this vertical component will be ac which is 0 0.4 meters and this force will produce a clockwise moment and the moment arm for this force would be 0 0.6 meter and since it is negative we take it on the other side of the equation and it will become positive 80 times 0 0.6 meters. We simplify this and we get the value of C as 180 newtons. Now, we use equation number 1 again where we know the tension force and we know C we can find out A like this. This will again be from the first equation a will work out to minus 140 Newton. That means, in actuality the reaction force at A is not in this direction, but opposite because the, the value of A has turned out to be minus 140 Newton. So, our result is that the tension force in the chord is 69.3 Newton in this direction, making an angle of 60 degrees with the x axis A is 140 Newtons in this direction making an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical and C is 180 Newtons in this direction making an angle of 60 degrees with the vertical. So, this is a fairly simple problem the key point is to draw the correct FBD of the whole rigid body. We move on to second problem wherein we have a beam a b the end a of the beam is fixed to the wall and we have a small pulley at the end b and 8 kg mass is hung from this pulley with this cord the other end of the cord is connected to the wall in this case and in the second case it is connected to the ground so, despite the fact that the weight in both the cases is same, the loading pattern is slightly dif different and therefore, we have to find out if the reaction forces at A, whether they remain the same in both the cases or they are different. So, let us find out the force with which the cable is being pulled down by this mass of 8 kg, it will be 8 times g and will work out to 78.5 Newtons. We now draw the FBT of this by cutting the beam at this point A and exposing the reaction forces here which will mean a force in x direction, a force in y direction at a moment at A. The reason for these three components is that neither the beam can be moved in x direction nor it can be moved in the y direction and it cannot also be rotated about A. 
So we have the two components of the forces here and a moment here and we cut the cable here at this point and at this point and expose the tension forces in this case here it will be pointing away from the rigid body and here it will be pointing downwards away from the rigid body. So the free body diagram will look like this showing the reaction forces at end A and the two cable tensions pointing in minus y direction and minus x direction like this. Now we can write the first equilibrium equation sigma fx equal to 0 and that will give us ax minus t equal to 0 and therefore ax will work out to 78.5 newtons. Similarly, sigma fy equal to 0 will give us ay minus t equal to 0 and ay will be also equal to 78.5 newtons. From these two components, we can find out the magnitude of the reaction force A, which will work out to 111.0 newtons, making an angle of 45 degrees with the x-axis. We have found out the reaction force A. Now we have to find the moment M, the value of the value and the sense of the moment M. So we take the moment of all these forces about point A and that will give us the moment here at A itself which is M and it is positive because it is in counterclockwise direction. This force T will produce a counterclockwise moment and the moment arm will be the radius of this pulley which is 0 0.1 meters and therefore we have this term. This force will produce a clockwise moment and the moment arm for this would be the length of the beam 1.6 plus 0 0.1 which is the radius of the pulley and therefore we have this term and simplifying this equation will give us m equal to 125.6 newton meters. So now let us turn to part b and examine if the reaction force A and the value of the moment turn out to be the same. So here is the FBD of the second case wherein after cutting the ropes at, at these two points we expose the cable tension forces and now having drawn the FBD we write the first equation sigma fx equal to 0. There is no force in the x direction other than Ax and therefore Ax will turn out to be 0, summing the forces in y direction and equating them to 0 will give us Ay minus 2t equal to 0 or Ay equal to 2t and that will work out to 157 newtons and therefore A would be 157.0 newtons in vertical direction. Now we have to find the value of M. And for that, we take moment of all these forces about A so as to eliminate Ax and Ay. And we get M minus the moment of this force, which is T times this distance, which is 1.6 minus the radius of the pulley. So this is the moment arm of the this tension force and the moment arm for this tension force would be 1.6 plus 0 0.1 meters. So simplifying this equation will give us m equal to 251 newton meters and what we notice is this moment is different from the moment reaction at the same point when the loading is different. So we see that the reaction force also is different, their direction also is different in both the cases and the moment is 125.6 in the first case and 251.0 newton meter in the second case. So what we observe is that by simply changing the loading pattern on the beam, the reactions at the fixed support, they change considerably in both the cases. And I hope this video will improve your confidence level in dealing with different kind of supports. 
I hope you enjoyed watching this video and in case you have liked it please give a like and share it with your friends and in case you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do so and thanks for watching and see you in the next video thank you